stepped up to the plate and helped lead them to gold. She has two more chances to win gold in the event finals, as well as a teammate, Holly Weiss, who will be competing on the uneven bars. And there's a lot more action on the floor. And helping us there will be your teammate from 96 on the men's side, John McCready. John? Well, we're in for a treat tonight. I'll be on the floor all night bringing any up-to-date scores or developing stories. But more importantly, tonight we have a young versus old crowd. We got athletes as Holly Weiss is 15 years old, and then athletes like Oksana Chustamitna, who's 28 years old and has a great shot at winning the vault. Nothing but great stories coming out of here, Peter. Thank you, John. And we're going to have an exciting first event now, the floor exercise. Probably, I think, the most exciting event in the gymnastics. The crowd loves to see this event. This is going to be great. The first up for Romania is Andrea Montianu. She's a very exciting floor exercise performer. She had a preliminary score of a 9.412, sixth place qualifying coming into this event. Peter, you're going to see a lot of action-packed floor routines. You can see right there, tuck jump double, moving right into her first tumbling pass. Beautiful, full twisting double back, slight hop on the landing there. Now, how much of a deduction when they take a hop like that is there? That can be anywhere from a tenth to possibly two tenths, depending on how far they step back. Very nice landing on that double pike. Now, the dance moves are just as important, really, as the tumbling moves, aren't they? That's right, beautiful flexibility on her gym series there. She gets ready for her third tumbling pass. You're going to see a lot of athletes performing more than three tumbling passes now to get the difficulty requirements. Whip right into a double full. The music slows down. She's great choreography. Looks like she's having some fun out there. She does. Long history of great gymnasts in Romania. Required turn. Now, it seems like the pace has slowed down a little bit for her. Is she kind of catching her breath, getting ready for that last pass? Well, Peter, I never had to do four tumbling passes, <laughs> but I can only imagine that adding that extra tumbling pass, she needs to breathe, catching her breath right there. Ending with a two and a half. Very nice. Showing off that flexibility right there. Andrea Mutianu of Romania. Now, these scores are all new life. They come in with certain scores in this competition, but it's a clean slate when they start the finals. So she wants to put in the best performance that she can because she starts off with the first place competitor at zero. Although she had the sixth place score, she's going to be coming in here now, starting in a very good position. A hit routine is always nice in the finals. Round off back hands. Oh, at that whip to the double pull. And her last tumbling pass. Two and a half twist. And you can see in the background there was her coach Bellu. He's a fixture in international gymnastics, created some great champions over the years. This, uh, this routine, I think, should put her in contention. And here's her score. Always the tension. A 9.4, not a bad score. You know, the scores are lower than they have been in, in past decades as we watch gymnastics. These we need to be more prepared for. A 9.4, though, is not a bad score in floor finals. And next up from Spain, Spain's first world champion, Elena Gomez. Elena Gomez won the gold medal on floor exercise at the 2002 World Championships. That was the first gold medal ever for Spain. And she's a great all-around uh, performer as well. Seventh all-around at the European Championships in 2002. Using a little more dramatic music there. Nice and slow. Sounds like it's going to speed up for the tumbling right here. Twisting double back. A little bit, a bit of a step there. I would imagine that'd be a bit of a deduction. Looks like she over-rotated just a little bit. Again, coming right back with the second tumbling pass. Two and a half punch, front wow. full, great landing. Wow. She didn't even take a step. That's fantastic. Very difficult. Required turn. Yeah, required turn. Very nice. Double turn with the leg at 90 degrees. Very difficult. Sometimes the crowd doesn't appreciate how difficult those turns are, are they? Oh. 
<laughs> the dance sometimes is more difficult, and being able to turn on a floor that has carpet and padding oh. is very difficult because it catches your toes yeah. on. That's probably good. I'm hoping to run burn. <laughs> Third tumbling pass. Wow. Triple full, beautiful landing. She's not giving a tenth away. Absolutely. This is a great performance so far. <laughs> Catching your breath, getting ready. Big pass, here it goes. Double pike, very nice landing. She fought for every 10 of those landings. I'll tell you, I think this is going to be a little higher score. I think a little higher score than Luciana. Let's see what they have to say. Looks like the crowd likes it. Yeah, she seemed to be more in control of her landings, I think. Uh, and I think that's really going to pay off. Well, she should be contending for a medal. Uh, it's, we've got a few more performers to go, however. Let's take another look at her tumbling. She opened with a beautiful full twisting double back. Slightly over rotation, her feet were underneath her, had to take a step back. Here's the difficult turn. Her legs in 90 degrees, all the way completed double turn wow. right into a double jump. You know, it seems that her only deduction in landings really was that first pass. Everything else was just right on. Her dance was beautiful. She showed great flexibility. Well, she has a title to defend. She is the defending, uh, well, not the defending. She's the world champion from 2002 on this event. She's shown what she's got before, and she's showing it again tonight. Point six seven five. Wow, that puts her in first place so far. Got a few more competitors, but that was a fantastic routine. And while we have not seen the Americans perform yet so far in this competition, we'll see a lot of them. They've had a great world championship, so we're going to talk about that when we come back. The past. Mary Lou Retton, The Magnificent Seven. Kurt Thomas. The present. Carly Patterson. Courtney Kupitz. Jason Gatson. The extraordinary, world-class gymnastics like never before. The TJ Maxx Tour of Gymnastics Champions. Coming to a city near you, visit usa-gymnastics.org for a complete list of cities. Tickets on sale now. Come on in, Derek. Derek, I thought we had this thing worked out. I hear you're out dancing, eating, and just carousing with your friends. Is it true you're going out every night? Absolutely not. Good. If you want to enjoy the New York nightlife, bring your Visa card. Because Orso, Cheetah, and the Broom Street Bar don't take American Express. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Hey, Derek, we are running late. We have 170 kinds of beer from all over the world. Call me when you're ready. I'm ready. Call the Sam Adams. Yeah. You can go around the world and not find a better beer than Samuel Adams. Always a good decision. Want to take off? Enterprise Rent-A-Car has takeoff weekend specials from $9.99 a day. That's Friday to Monday, just $9.99 a day. So take off this weekend. Log on to Enterprise.com or call 1-800-RENT-A-CAR. Tuesday. Did you believe he intended to kill you? I had no doubt. One of Blue's own could go down. Back up or blow his brains out. Watch it. New NYPD Blue ABC Tuesday, 10 9 Central. Viewer discretion advised. The 2003 World Gymnastics Championships are brought to you by Visa. Proud sponsor of the USA Gymnastics team. Visa, it's everywhere you want to be. Welcome back to the Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim for the 2003 World Gymnastics Championships. We're right in the middle of the floor exercise finals for women. And first up now, or next up on the floor, will be Catalina Panor of Romania. And Amanda, another great gymnast from this country. They continue to put out fantastic athletes year in and year out. The thing that stands out about Romania is they have the difficulty, but they're so consistent. Opening with her dance series, triple turn right into a popa as she goes into her first tumbling pass. A full-in piked again, a slight pop on that landing. 
know, she says her next pass, man. It seems to me that the we, we always complain in men's gymnastics that the uh, women have the luxury of dancing out of a missed landing, and we have to land it perfectly or else we get to duck it. Is, you ever hear that flat before? <laughs> oh, we heard it many, many times. <laughs> I think the judges know when you dance out of it and you're in control, yeah. and when you dance out of it out of control, and they know and they'll deduct when it's appropriate. And so far we've seen some incredible control from all the athletes in Florida. Shows. Next tumbling pass. Triple full. Very nice. You can see she completed three twists, landing her feet perfectly straight. The judges look for those kind of things. If you do not complete your twists, you do not complete a jump like that where she's slightly short on the jump double, they don't get credit and it does affect their start value, which often causes our scores to be a little bit lower than we saw um, in the past years. And some of the preliminary scores were a little bit lower than we're used to. She, she had the, uh, the first place qualifying score at a 9.537. Last tumbling pass, double pike, beautiful landing. Wow, just perfect. What it takes to be in finals. It comes down to every single take. Oh, she's got to be happy with that routine. The crowd loves it. She did a great job. This could be enough to put her into first place. Take a look at one of her passes. It's her first tumbling pass. Full in pipe. You could saw, see that her knees were slightly bent. And again, a small hop on the landing. She shows a lot of a lot of power, good amplitude. Look at that two and a half twist punch front layout. And here's the finish. Beautiful double pike. Watch this landing. Feet there's do not there's move. the period at the end of that sentence. It's right on there. Now the waiting game. This could be enough to put her in first. That was a great performance. Ah, 9.7 puts her in first place. Now, she's guaranteed a spot on the victory platform, but will it be the top? And we're going to find out next with our final performer on the floor exercise. She was the third place qualifier, Diane Dos Santos of Brazil. This is a big moment for her country. They have really come on strong in the last few years. They've got great coaches there. She's got a great personality. Does she have the goods, though, for a gold medal performance? We're going to find out. Here we go. Something. Oh my Beautiful. gosh. Wow. Arabian that... double pike. I'm not sure I've ever seen that. Just that was so high. Step too. on the landing by oh. gorgeous. <laughs> double layout. Oh, the crowd just loves this routine. She's going to have them in the palm of her hand if she keeps tumbling like this. She was the third place qualifier. She had a 9.512, but she's really, really pulling out all the stops right now. energetic music. The crowd always loves that, loves to see personality. We're ready for a third tumbling pass. Pike front. Through a double Arabian. Beautiful landing. She knows how to do these Arabians. That's just amazing. It's a very difficult pass because it's a front landing. It's blind. You cannot see the floor when you're landing, so you have to have very good air awareness. Much, much harder to land. Jumps are beautiful, great height. And that's amazing. This is the end of the routine. She still has that amazing power in her legs. Watching her breath. Here she goes. One final tumbling pass. She needs to stick this landing. Beautiful wow. double pike. Oh, this is amazing. Will this be enough? Oh, she's excited. And standing look at ovation. the crowd. A standing ovation. There's her coach. This could be history for Brazil gymnastics. They've never had a world champion in any event in gymnastics. Could this be their moment? Oh, she's thrilled. She knows she put out her best performance. There is no better feeling than hitting a team running off, getting a oh. huge hug from your coach, <laughs> having the crowd stand up. What else can you ask for? you got to earn hugs from your coach, don't you, sometimes? That's right. <laughs> oh, and look at the crowd. And now the waiting game. Now look at this power. She has great height. Beautiful double Arabian pike. She cannot see the ground, spots it, slight step, but unbelievable. I'll tell you, if they're going to reward her for one thing, it's got to be for the amplitude. She's clearly the highest tumbler in the competition tonight. 
As a, as a teenager, she has a mouthful of braces. Watch this. Pike front through to double Arabian again. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. I didn't think it was possible to do two double Arabians <laughs> in a routine, one pike, and have great landings. And that final double pike, once again, a stuck landing, and you can see the crowd just loving this. Her coach is whistling. Come on, crowd. <laughs> now let's see what she gets. We're going to see a full mouthful of braces if it is. And what's the score? Oh my gosh, a 9.737. She wins the gold medal. This is history for Brazil gymnastics. And the crowd is showing how much they appreciate her performance. Just an amazing routine. really, really love that performance. They just appreciate great gymnastics. And there are some officials from Brazil. She has made history for her country. And so Diane Dos Santos of Brazil becomes her country's first ever world champion, winning the gold on the floor. Silver medal went to Katarina Ponor of Romania, and the bronze went to Elena Gomez of Spain. And there's Diane Dos Santos making history for her country. She's certainly stolen some hearts tonight. Another girl who's stolen some hearts is Chelsea Memel of the USA. She has an amazing story leading up to this world championship. And where that started was the women's team finals, where Chelsea wasn't even expected to be in the meet. She came out from the Pan American Games as a reserve athlete, but after many injuries, they put her on the team, and she had great performances like this vault in the women's team finals. And if there was a team to beat, it was Romania, with great athletes like Monica Rosu here on the vault. Romania is always a team to beat. But Chelsea Memo pulled off another great routine on the uneven parallel bars, and more drama took place on this event when Holly Weiss realized she did not have her number on. They had to put a piece of paper on her back and write her number there. This took quite a while, and as a result, it kind of flustered her a little bit, and when she got to the actual routine on the bars, she made a mistake. And for a moment, it looked as if the U.S. hopes were dashed. But Romania had just an okay performance as a team on uneven bars, and USA was still in the hunt. On the beam, Polly Weiss came back with a spectacular routine, hitting her balance beam routine for some redemption, a good score, 9.512. And the U.S. was back in the hunt. And once again, Chelsea Memel pulling off a dream performance at the World Championships the highest score for the USA team on the balance beam. And the battle for that team gold medal came down for both teams to the last event, the floor exercise. Catalina Panor had a great performance on the floor, but it was Carly Patterson of the US sealing the victory for the USA's first ever world team gold medal. It's never been done before. So the USA wins by a healthy margin in the end over Romania, who wins the silver. Australia has come on very strong these last few years. They take the bronze. This shows just how far the US women have come since Sydney. A great showing, the first ever gold medal for the USA. And the fairy tale is not over for Chelsea Memel. We'll see more of her a little later. Hockey's opening night. Lace them up tight. Everyone has a chance to be a champion. NHL opening night. Regional coverage. 8 p.m. Wednesday on ESPN. Dear Commissioner, Major League Baseball is great, but you know what would make it even more exciting? Instead of a warning track, how about a warning moat? Here's wind up. He smacks a deep fly to center. Hayes is back to the moat. Uh, he's wet. Yeah, but did he hold on? Well, that's the question. He did! <laughs> Gator got him. <laughs> that's good fun. The fans love it. The best bowlers in the world bending the laws of physics. The PBA Tour is back. Spin doctors Chris Barnes and Norm D lead the pack into the first tourney of the season. The PBA Banquet Open, Sunday at 1 on ESPN. Tomorrow on the Playmakers. We on Taylor? Yeah. You're under arrest for spousal battery. Call up. 
Why won't you listen to me? I don't want this. They asked me, did I ever witness you cross the line? Yes or no? You're going to suspend me without being found guilty? The team has got to take a stab. You think I'm a felon? One more from you and I'll finish you. Playmakers, the hit series, continues tomorrow, 9 p.m. on ESPN. Preceded by last week's episode at 8. Get ready to take your gaming global with Xbox Live. Team up with players from across the street or around the world and take your game to the next level. But to get in this game, you got to have Cox High Speed Internet. For a no-limits online gaming experience, you need speed. Load your games in seconds and enjoy dazzling 3D graphics and amazing audio. Order Cox High Speed Internet online at cox.com and get an Xbox Live starter kit plus Microsoft's Mech Assault free. The game's never the same on Xbox Live and Cox High Speed Internet. In the heart of the Gila River Indian community, today's most talented golfers will fight for their chance to join the PGA Tour. Join us for a whirlwind week at Wild Horse Pass, the Wild Horse Pass Resort first anniversary celebration, family fun, river walk, auto expo, live entertainment, casino specials, and much more. For information, contact the Phoenix Metropolitan Boys and Girls Club. Welcome back to the 2003 World Gymnastics Championships. I'm Peter Vidmar with Amanda Borden. Now we move to probably the most difficult event in women's gymnastics, the balance beam. And first up, from Romania, Catalina Panor. This is always an intense event. Beautiful and noty. Turning right back. Can't bring it out. Gorgeous form. She's so beautiful to watch. She has great flexibility. She finishes everything all the way to her fingers. Wow. Right there, beautiful. Now I'm going to remind the viewer by giving the most overused term in gymnastics broadcasting. Remember, the beam is only four inches wide. Just amazing. She's very solid. It's very difficult to get up on this event with the entire crowd watching you and handle the pressure. And Panora had a 9.662 in preliminaries for the second highest score coming in here. Once again, as we said earlier, we start from a clean slate, so she's going from zero. And so, so the pressure's really, really on. So she's getting ready for another wow. twisting back handspring, three quarters, down to the beam. It's a requirement to touch part of your trunk <laughs> to the body, to the beam. Getting ready to dismount. Round off double pike. Wow. wow, that's great. What a great landing. Beautiful. That's going to score well. And there's a fan. <laughs> Boy, Romania is just always strong. They always have someone in all the finals, it seems. They're always in the hunt for medals. Just a great tradition in that country. She had beautiful tumbling. Backhand spring layout, step out. Perfectly straight legs, not a single wobble. Here's a great view. Look at that. Looked like she was a little off. She used her legs to kind of get the balance back. So no mistakes there. This should score very, very well. This puts the pressure on, on the other athletes, too. Beam is not an easy event to stay on. We always call it the make or break event. It comes down to every tenth. You can see right here she fought for it. Yeah, and you know, I'll tell you that landing could be the gold medal right there. You never know. A 9.587, it's a very, very good score, but I don't know, I think there's more to come, so we will see. The next step on the balance beam, probably, I think, the girl to be just an amazing performance in preliminaries. She had the highest preliminary score, a 9.712. This is Fan Yi of China. And I'll tell you, if anything, the beam, I think, must seem wider for her. She's only 4 foot 9, and she's 72 pounds. Beautiful beam worker. Very fluid. Wow. Beautiful punch front, right into a ring jump. Yeah. <laughs> the Chinese always have great flexibility. Every gymnast is required a flight series. Just tumbling, leaps, such as that, a switch ring gym series, which is a leap series. And turns as well, I would assume. Oh, there you go.
Boy, she has just got so much confidence. And, and, and it seems to me that her transitions are faster, going from skill to skill. She's very deliberate in her movements, and that must take uh, just an immense amount of time to be able to be comfortable doing that. You can tell the athletes that are expecting to be perfect. Mm -hmm. She's getting up there with no doubt. Every skill, her body's in the exact position she wants it. Just and you only have four inches. Yeah. There's not much room for error. Yeah, but no hesitation, though. That's the thing. Here she goes, setting up to that dismount. Wow. Wow. Another step Beautiful. landing. Look at that. I'll tell you, I think that was a little better. I don't know, but it seemed to me like she was in a little bit more control, had more difficulty. This could be enough to put her in first place. And maybe stay there. I would read that for you, but I'm sure it was something exciting for the fans. Major teammates. Wow, that was that was one of the performances in my book. Actually, another.